Some people get a little bit lost while they're doing calculations on the slide rule, and it's definitely understandable. But one scale that you can usually look to to tell you what you're doing is the D scale. So if we just take that basic concept that we learned in multiplication, we'll move the left index to whatever the first number is. So let's say it's 1.6 times 5. D is kind of our anchor point. We know that D is going to be our first number, and that works with everything. So 1.6 times 5 will go down to 5 on our C scale. And again, we go down on D, and that's going to be 8. But let's say we wanted to do a further number than this. 8 is going to be our anchor point. We finished with 1.6 times 5. Now we're moving on to the next thing. So what that means is you kind of start from scratch right here, but you know that D is your anchor point. So from 8, we're going to move our right index to here. And so let's say we wanted to do 8 times 9. Well, then we would just have to move over to 9, and we'd get about 7.2. Also, a lot of people get confused when I'm doing the trig scales. So let's flip over. Let's just use that basic concept of D being the anchor point. So no matter what I pick, let's say I go to the sine scale and I choose 30 degrees. And then we needed to multiply that for some reason. Well, how do we do multiplication? Just look at what 30 is and go down to D. And that's what you're looking at. 5 is the number, or 0.5 in this case. So then you can do whatever multiplication you want from there. And then that's when you move the hairline. So no matter what you do on the slide, even if you go to other scales, like you go to the trig scales, it all kind of comes back down to D. And you start your calculations from there.